Over the past decade, the issue of homelessness has impacted so many different aspects of our community. In 2009, our board decided that we would undertake the task of developing a 10-year plan to end homelessness. It's the old rising tide. If the tide goes up, all the ships rise. And this is a plan about the quality of life of this entire community. You know, the 10-year plan is something that's ambitious, that is really a plan to include everyone in the community, to address homelessness and poverty in the community. We modeled the process after the Manatee County process. So we had five different work groups, an economic development work group, a health and human services work group, a housing and shelter work group, a public safety work group, and a prevention work group. And I think what this is doing is really the first step, and that is coordinating all the care. If we all showed up and try to do things individually, we won't have the same benefit as if we joined hands and did something together. It was very important to me that we have as many homeless citizens as possible participate in the process, and that was one of the great successes. We probably had uh, around 100 homeless citizens who participated at one time or another. But the planning process is really being grassroots. I mean, we invited the community, they came. There's a lot of expertise in the community, you know, and experience, um, um, very educated people. I really felt like there's enough juice and intellectual capacity in this community to come up with real life solutions. What was so beautiful about that is that it was a forum for people to express great ideas and then we have to figure out a way to actualize them. It was grassroots but really inclusive but we really it wasn't a meeting or a plan of the leadership in a sense of this community. The people that make policy, the people that fund projects, the people that tell their fellow philanthropists bring your money here and so that's the process you know we're trying to make people at that level uh, more aware of the problem the challenge and also that they have a role to play. When we did the step up plan I presented it at both the city and the county commissions to a notable lack of enthusiasm. I think that there were a lot of new ideas that it took leadership time to absorb and so their initial reaction was well, we don't know if we like this idea we don't know if we want to do this we don't know we want more proof we want to know more about how you did your study so I think there was initial conflict over whether this report had the answers that that the leadership thought they needed at the city level we received nothing more really than a pat on the back and telling us to stay in touch. Um, the county had been a full partner in the process of developing the step up plan. Now they made it clear all along that this was not a Sarasota County plan, this was a Suncoast Partnership plan, but they did provide support and assistance and I expected more from the county when we presented the plan. The bottom line was the county commission and the city council did not get behind the step-up plan and they chose instead to start a new planning process with Dr. Barbet. Rather than fight that because there's really nothing we could do one way or the other, we decided to participate. So Dr. Marbet received a full copy of the step-up plan as part of his review. And I think you see a lot of things woven through his report that match the things that were found during the, the step-up process. So it hasn't been lost, it's been integrated into this newer plan. It's there as a resource right now. It is still available on the internet. I still have hard copies available. I am disappointed in even my own efforts. While I was helping to lead that, I promised everybody uh, that this would not be a plan that sat on a shelf. It was never our intention to come up with a set of guidelines that would sit on a shelf somewhere. I promised that it would be a living plan that would engage the community and provide direction. And that is why we have decided to call our plan Step Up Sarasota. We are asking every member of Sarasota County to step up to the plate 
to work with us, to help us build emergency shelters, to help us realize the dream of truly affordable housing in our community. And that hasn't happened. Um, the time came for me to leave the Suncoast Partnership and right now it's the partnership is not actively promoting the 10-year plan. We've led the process, we've seen the promised land, now we all have to work together to enter it. I am here to say that when the time comes, and it will, I will re-engage and do what I can to move the ball further down the field.